Hey guys, Kyle Kelly from Kelly's Port taking through 1997 Maxim 3200 SCR. This is our cruiser series, guys. Um, nice boat, guys. Um, got a lot of really cool options that you'd expect to see in a cruiser. Uh, twins, obviously. Windless generator, air conditioning, and um, kind of a cool layout aboard the boat. Say a uh, nice dark hunter green aboard the boat, which is nice. A lot of times you see these mid to late 90s, everybody loved their pink, purple, and teal. And uh, this boat's got some real nice, good looking contemporary colors uh, aboard the boat. Uh, big extended swim platform in the back back here. Transom stowage for ropes, bumpers, shore power cables, stuff like that. And a real beamy boat as you can see. We've got big seating on the port side here. And we've got a nice big uh, starboard side seat as well. You've got the center seat, which I think is pretty cool. What's kind of cool about this is this will lay down and create like a big sun pad. So like right in the middle here, you can either have the classic back-to-back -back seating for two people here or two people forward, or this will lay down and lock back all the way in the back back here, which is kind of cool. You've also got a nice little cooler over here in the corner that you have uh, quick and easy access to. Refrigerator with sink here as well. Uh, again, call it a dual wide helm seat, but it's actually bigger than that. It's actually big enough for three people, whatever you have in the classic seating, which is pretty cool. Again, twins over here, guys. Uh, helm station that you normally see with the spotlight. Uh, full bimini top for some uh, sunshade, but it also does have the full camper canvas enclosures on the boat. A real nice center walkthrough, which I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of. Big, easy access to the front of the boat up there. You've got a very nice big sun pad forward with kind of a little lounge in the seat, which I think is pretty neat. Big stainless steel grab handles on either side for easy access, which is pretty cool. Um, coming down to the interior here, guys, you can use this either as a day boat or the current owner is using this as a liveaboard boat. Again, generator and air conditioning and um, a cool layout. Uh, you've got stovetop, microwave, excuse me, stovetop, microwave, and full-size refrigerator there. Good stainless steel sink. You've got a nice big forward uh, berth, but a lot of headroom, a lot of width inside here, so a fixed berth there. We've also got drop-in filler cushions to complete a seat back here. Uh, excuse me, make a, uh, a sleeper here. Uh, you've got a full-sized uh, wet head that you've got aboard the boat. And then back down the bottom back here, you've got a huge, huge, huge sleeper. If you can see back there, there's actually a big window. You've actually got almost room to darn near stand up inside here, guys. It's a real, real, real big sleeper back here. Uh, so if you're considering this for an overnight, obviously this will close off for just a great place for uh, if you're using the day boat with the generator and air conditioning for the kids to hop inside here. Uh, upgraded stereo with an iPod player, and they just threw in some new speakers, some kicker uh, speakers here as well, which is pretty nice. Uh, overall, guys, the boat's in good, clean condition. Uh, vinyl interior is in great shape. Uh, did not see any nicks or tears in the interior vinyl. The only vinyl that I saw that was a um, um, rips or tears, uh, you got a rip or tear here. And kind of the sun pad, it's kind of got you know, a tear here in the corner and starting to fray there a little bit. Um, again, not bad for a 97, but you know, used boat, we're going to see a couple things. Um, and then exterior wise, the cabin was in great condition. Exterior wise, the only major thing I ever really saw was back in this left corner here. You can kind of see there's a little bimini, or a, uh, scratch in the fiberglass there. Another one just above the rub rail there. And then some of the vinyl Kind of has some tears, just where the bumpers has been, have been, excuse me. That's going to be pretty common, guys. Also another scratch in the port side here. Um, but other than that, guys, for 1997, with all the options the boat has on it, you know, it's got a lot of really, really, really nice features. Um, and not a huge price point. Uh, good looking boat. Uh, kept here at the uh, docks here at Kelly's Port. Um, and the uh, boat looks pretty good. Uh, so again, Kyle Kelly from Kelly's Port taking through 1997 Maxim 3200 SCR. Um, and um, really guys, a neat boat if you're looking for something in, in around this price range. Uh, here at Kelly's Port where we ask you to buy the best and only cry once. Thanks for your time.